Hey everybody, just wanted to quickly share with you what I've been working on and what my plans were. My plans have kind of changed a little bit and I'll explain why that is. But so my plan was to do a video on advanced routing concepts in Next 13. So using parallel routes, intercepting routes and um, the like to be able to render multiple pages within a page and, you know, use modals and and whatnot. Um, however, I don't think everything is really there. I've noticed some bugs. Um, there's some mismatch going on with the docs and the way things, you know, the way we're writing the code. So I kind of want to hold off on doing an actual video on that for now and just kind of explain to you what's going on. Uh, basically, what we have here this dashboard, users, analytics, and trends. These are all, um, believe it or not, separate pages, and they are loading all within the single page. And I'll show you how we do that. That happens inside. So we have our dashboard route right here. And then inside the layout, we have, so normally, let me spread this out a little bit just so you can see it a bit better. So normally when we do a layout, you know, we only have children and that's pretty standard. So next by default just knows that children, it just knows what children is. So the way this works is that just like you would any other route, you name your route, but instead of just naming your route, you put an at sign, um, prefix the folder with the at sign and what this is that's called a slot basically um and then inside the slot you have your i'll show you uh like your page component so you just have a page.tsx like you would in norm, any other route and then what you do is is that you um bring that into your layout and so up here and turns to the trends you just name your um uh name this whatever you named your route that has to be um, that has to match, you know, next is very particular with the way that, I mean, it's not, you have freedom in what you name your, your routes and your directories, but whatever you name them, you have to stick with that. Cause that's going to be, you know, part of your naming convention. So, um, you see over here, I have trends, trends, modal analytics, all that is just, um, straight from, you know, what I get over here. And all you do is like you would normally. So normally we would just have, you know, props.children. And then you would have your children down here. What we can do with parallel routing is we can render more than just the children. We can render um, these other page components. And that's basically what you do. Um, and then, you know, you can style them just like you would any other page. And these are server components, so you can do your data fetching. I'll show you here. And uh, in both users and analytics, I do do some data fetching. I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't bring back any data. It just allows me to set a timeout that way so I can show you the different loading states. So in the API, just to show you in the users, these are both, these are both the same. I just have a um, simple function up here to, uh, that resolves a promise after whatever the given input the de given delay is and that's uh in this case it's five seconds for the other one it is um for the other one it's three seconds so nothing nothing too special going on there but um i did that so to demonstrate the loading pages so i you can see that with each of these pages you can have separate loading um, components. You notice up here the dashboard and the trends, they didn't load because I don't have for um, any loading state for them so or any loading component for them. So with the loading state, this is one of the problems that I ran into and it is kind of frustrating but um, in the docs, if you actually come over here and look at the docs on Nex the Next.js website and the parallel routes, you can see that it's up here. Yeah, so you can see that we should be able to have our loading, error, and page components all at the same level. Um, but that is not the way 
it's currently working in the real world. I don't know if these docs are just out of date and they haven't been updated or if there's an actual bug with Next.js, but if you come in here, you'll see, I actually found this solution on Stack Overflow. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I decided to kind of hold off on doing this for a little bit to see if the docs get updated and if this changes or if this is just a bug that needs to be resolved. So um, I found this solution on Stack Overflow. And what you do is you create a route group um, and you do that by just creating the parentheses and naming it. So on the Stack Overflow, I'll just show you real quick. Um, now the same, pretty much the same problem as I did, you know, the, the page and the uh, loading components weren't working at the same level. And so the solution is to just create the route group. And I will say this solution didn't like, I had to modify this a little bit. So I had to move the loading, um, component into the route group with the page and instead of the loading and the error being outside just underneath at the, at, in the hero slot. So um, that is a little bit of a workaround. It does work now that you do that. I did the same thing up here in analytics. I just named this one group just to, you know, illustrate that it doesn't matter what you name, what you name it. Um, just be mindful that if you are going to use this, you do have to put your page and your loading component at the same level with inside the, uh, the route group. So yeah, that should work for you. Again, it is a little bit annoying that the docs aren't really up to date and um, yeah, I'm sure that will probably be fixed in the future, but for the time being, there's that little workaround. There's another thing that I want to talk about. Um, so if we come over here and you see down here, I have a login to view. So what this is, I was intending to do with this is make this an intercepting route that would display a modal when this button is clicked on. And then if you were to just navigate to that route, it would just display the page. It's uh, it's similar to what Vercel has on GitHub. Uh, they call it Nextgram. It's, um, see if there's a, um, yeah, let's check this out. So what it does is you click the, you click the actual image and it brings up this modal. Um, that's kind of cut off there a little bit, but if you were to instead just go to or refresh this page, it takes you to the actual page. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> like with the uh, parallel routing docs, the intercepting route docs, I mean, uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. So if you notice that I'm doing something wrong, please do let me know. I should be able to, let me just show you real quick what happens when I click log into view. Um, and if we come into here, into where that is, uh, into the modal, I am using the three dots. So that should take me to the root, the app root, which is where the login, the login route actually is. So that should be working. And I have tried all the other different combination. So I'll show you here in the docs, like the parentheses and the dot notation, I guess you could call it to, or the convention to tell next what level the route you want to intercept is at. And that's how it knows where to intercept. So you can see in this example, this is only, um, one level above. So, you know, they only have two dots. Mine is in the app root. So that should be three dots, but again, it's not working. Um, but you can see that if I come over here and I just go to login, the login page does display. Um, this is just, you know, kind of placeholder. But when I do the, uh, when I click on this, what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to display a page that says login modal. And for the life of me, I've been working on this for a while now. I can't figure it out. The only thing that I can think of is that, um, I'm doing something wrong that's not immediately obvious or there's some bug. And I do want to kind of hold off on doing, um, you know, a, a tutorial on building an actual dashboard until I figure out exactly, you know, what's going on. Cause I do want to do that, um, coming up in the future, an actual video and not just like, um, you know, what you see here. I mean like an actual dashboard with charts and, um, analytics and stuff. So, 
uh, just to kind of demonstrate how you would use this in a real world application. This was just kind of my test on on getting you know the the handle of everything. You can expect this um, a tutorial like this in the future. Um, yeah, that's what you can look forward to in the future. Um, again, if you think that you noticed that I did something wrong with the um, modal and the intercepting routes, please do let me know down in the comments. Um, but yeah, outside of that, uh, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch. Uh, please do leave your thoughts and suggestions down in the comments. And, and yeah, I will uh, see you guys next time. Peace.